You know, the second half of marriage is an amazing time of life. Now, uh, we aren't quite there yet, but we know what it is That's like from exactly research. That's exactly right. From research, we know that this is absolutely the most fulfilling time for couples in marriage. We life. talk about this yep. in our seminars. We hear from it uh, in other couples, the research. There's, there's other great resources out there. Dave and Claudia Arp specializing in this and so forth. But, you know, what happens in the latter half of marriage, the level of satisfaction begins to get so high that social scientists no longer have instruments to measure <laughs> how happy these couples are. And part of that has to do That's with right. their physical intimacy. But I'm going to tell you, you know, if your wife's feeling a little silly, it may be that you need to kind of recapture. If you're an old dog, maybe you need a, a, a new <laughs> trick or two. And by that I mean, hey, it, you've got the freedom, you've got, you don't have constraint. It's time to start courting her again. It's time to do some dating. It's time to plan some of the fun shared experience that really do get you in the mood for that shared passion because you this is a time in your life when you have the freedom to do that. Well, and, and also, can you speak directly to the woman too? Because I know from research that many women feel just content to have that emotional intimacy uh, without the physical aspect, but well, a guy needs that. That's right. And you know what? Women do sometimes feel silly. Maybe they don't feel young and attractive and they don't fit the media image of what is sexually pleasing. And that's where you can just speak into your wife's life and say, you know what? You are the person I choose. I want this experience with you. I like who you are now at this age and this phase. And the more he can do that, the more willing and interested she's going to be. She won't feel silly. She'll feel loved.